objectives of trading blocks. Why are we saying that uh, countries need to come together? Remember, a country cannot operate on its own. And therefore, you find that uh, if a country is just relying on what, what it is producing, the country may not have all the resources. So, so there are some things that uh, that country is likely to be uh, missing. And therefore, we have to rely uh, from other countries and that is why we need to join hearts with other countries so that what we have uh, And maybe we have it in excess. We can export it to other countries. What we don't have we can get it again uh, from the other uh, countries and that we we are going to satisfy uh, our citizens so we have a number of objectives that we need to achieve for instance objective number one is to promote trade promote trade. So uh, remember we are saying that uh, we need to do trading. Eh? Uh, what the country is producing, you will find that uh, sometimes that mineral can be in excess and therefore when we produce that, instead of having it uh, and it grows to waste, we need to export it to other countries. And you know very well again, when we export such to other countries, we are going to gain like in terms of foreign exchange and the strength of the currency of the country again is likely to, to be at the upper hand. So when we are joining hands, one of the major objective is we tend to, uh, to enhance trade among uh, the member uh, countries of the trading blocks. We also have number two, which is promotion, promotion of peace and security promotion of peace and security in the region remember uh, there are some cases whereby we have problems or like for instance we have either maybe like internal attacks we have external attacks and all that and again also we uh, we as a country we need to ensure that uh, there is peace there is no aggression among the member states and therefore one of the objective again of the same is to ensure that uh, there is peace that is uh, prevailing uh, as far as these trading block, uh, blocks uh, are concerned. Then also we have number three that is a promotion promotion of development development development. Remember, we need to promote development among the member countries. Uh, for instance, uh, you find that uh, we need to interconnect the countries so that maybe we can facilitate like trade. And therefore, in order for us to interconnect countries, then it means we need to join hands. If we fail to join hands, then it will be very, very difficult for the country to construct, for instance, like road that is joining another country or a railway that is joining another country. But when the countries have joined hand, then constructing a railway uh, that will join, that will interconnect all the members of the trading block, it will be very, very easy because it is something that is, uh, that is also uh, agreed. The other objective, number four, is promotion of mobility of labor mobility of labor mobility of labor so you'll find that uh, uh, we tend to allow movement of persons from one country to the other so one country may not have enough uh, expertise so you'll be finding that uh, some people are moving from other countries and they are coming to our country or our people are moving from this country they are moving to other countries. So if we don't, we have not agreed through trading blocks, you will find that uh, there will always be challenges. And that is why you have noted, eh, like uh, in a number of countries, some t citizens tend to complain that uh, when they visit another country, they tend to be harassed. And they complain that way simply because maybe we don't have proper agreements eh, with those particular countries. But when we have this particular agreement, you will find that uh, such problems uh, may not, uh, uh, may not, uh, uh, may not arise. Then again, we have number five. We can also promote, uh, control, or uh, promote, 
promotion of economic growth promotion of economic growth so you will find that uh, when the countries are joining hands and maybe all this is happening like uh, we are promoting trade there is mobility of labor there is development so what you find is eh, there will be economic growth so the two countries now will tend to grow uh, to some uh, uh, extent uh, again eh, you will find that uh, number six there is promotion of private sector development private sector development private sector development so you will find that uh, uh, we not we have two major sectors that is the public sector and we also have the private sector and therefore with this unity you will find also we will give a chance to private investors because the government cannot satisfy everything so the government need to create the avenues like uh, through construction of networks uh, rail lines uh, electricity networks eh? those major major developments but we also need to incorporate the private sectors because private sector investors they are the one now that will bring other investments like uh, in terms of buildings or other uh, or like maybe provision of uh, services so we cannot ignore private sector uh, at any uh, moment so uh, runners those are some of the objectives of the trading blocks and uh, these are some of the things that make the trading blocks uh, to be established uh, therefore uh, we will see more value addition on provision on trading blocks through discussion of EAC and uh, COMESA so let me see let's start with EAC that is East Africa Communities East Africa Communities East Africa Community that is EAC EAC uh, when we talk about uh, EAC that is uh, East Africa Community this is a trading block that is formed by a number of countries currently the member countries of East Africa communities they include we have that is member countries member countries uh, we have Kenya we have Uganda uh, we have Rwanda we have Burundi uh, we have Tanzania and we have Southern Sudan so we have those six members of East Africa communities and you understand very well that uh, Southern Sudan is the is the country that joined last the East Africa uh, communities but we have those six members as at then which constitute the East Africa communities so this particular unity it is formed so that we can promote the objectives of the of these particular countries for instance those objectives they include like uh, this promotion of trade promotion of peace and such but uh, the aim of the bond is to ensure that uh, all the countries are uh, all the countries issues or objectives have been uh, achieved the other thing that to note is eh, East Africa was initially formed. The uh, East Africa co um, Community (EAC) was initially established in the year 1967. So, year 1967. That is when it was established first. But later, after 10 years, which is uh, year 1977 this particular bond collapsed and therefore it is stayed like that up to the year 2008 year 2008 that is when the bond now was reinstated and therefore the bond is still there and uh, the east africa community uh, is still existing so the other thing that you need to notice uh, the headquarters of this particular community they are located in Tanzania 
they are located in Tanzania that is headquarters headquarters they are located in Arusha which is Tanzania they are located in uh, Arusha that is uh, Tanzania that is where we have the headquarters uh, of EAC